This presentation is an introduction to the idea of dimensional analysis. In dimensional analysis, we're using conversion factors and a little bit of mathematics to convert one set of units to another. The dimensional analysis method is also called the factor label method. And if you use the URLs or web addresses that are shown here, you'll get to web pages that will give you some idea of how to use dimensional analysis and the factor label method. If this presentation is unclear or you just want extra material to supplement this presentation, then you can find it at these two websites. The philosophy behind dimensional analysis, the idea that we use in dimensional analysis, is that as long as we make the units work out, we can get to the right answer. So what we need for dimensional analysis is a given, which is an amount with a unit on it. Then we need the desired units. We are calculating the amount, so we won't have the amount. That's what we're going to calculate. But we do need to know the units that we want to convert to. And then we need a number of conversion factors. To make the units work out, realize that conversion factors can be turned into fractions that are equal to 1. I'm going to show you what I mean by that on the next slide. It's always legal to multiply by 1. It doesn't change anything except the units. We're going to use dimensional analysis to multiply by 1, but we're going to change the units in the process. Let me show you how we do that. For example, we may know that 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So if we divide both sides of the equation by 2.54 centimeters, we divide 1 inch by 2.54 centimeters, we divide 2.54 centimeters by 2.54 centimeters, then I think you'll see that we get 1 inch over 2.54 centimeters equals 1. And we can multiply 1 by anything and still get the same thing back out. Any number multiplied by 1 is that number. So let's put that conversion factor to work. Let's say someone tells us that we have 5 centimeters and we want to convert that into inches. So we use the conversion factor that we had on the previous slide, 1 inch divided by 2.54 centimeters, which I showed you before, is equal to 1. That cancels out the centimeters, and we are left with the, the unit of inches. So 5 centimeters equals 1.97 inches. That seems simple enough, but there is one small complication. We need to be mindful of significant figures. We can't create digits where there are none. We can't create information where information doesn't exist. The only information we have is the number 5. And we're creating three digits where we only had one before. This is called significant figures, the idea that we can't do that. We started with a one-digit number. We have to end with a one-digit number. So we round the answer to the nearest whole number, a one-digit number. And so we, the final answer that we'll have is that 5 centimeters equals 2 inches. We can do more complicated problems with dimensional analysis. We can even do problems that seem impossible at first and work those out with dimensional analysis. I'm going to give you a silly kind of made up problem that we can solve with dimensional analysis. The only limit that's going to 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 be the only limit that's going to constrict the only thing that's going to constrict us is our ability to think up conversion factors. For example, I run marathons. I might want to know how many steps are in a marathon. So one marathon equals how many steps. Notice that I start with what I need in the toolkit. I've got a, a starting, a given quantity with a, a unit, and then I've got the units that I want to end up with and nothing else in between. So now the third thing that I need to put into dimensional analysis is a conversion factor. A conversion factor for a marathon is that there's 26.2 miles in one marathon. That'll cancel out the units of marathon, and now I'm le left with 26.2 miles equals how many steps. We're making progress, but we're still not there yet. 
I know that there's 5,280 feet in one mile, so now I can use that conversion factor to get rid of the unit of miles, and now I'm left with 26.2 times 5,280 feet in one marathon. And finally, I know that my stride is about 3 feet, so I have 3 feet in one step, and now I have everything I need to ca calculate the number of steps in a marathon. The number is 46,112 steps in a marathon, or converting to the proper number of significant figures, I'd have 46,100 steps in a marathon. I hope you've seen that the method of dimensional analysis can be used to convert any units that we want to any other units if we only have the proper conversion factors.